we are going to go over the different sections in the timeline and we're just gonna go right into it so right over here we have the corner we have select we have split we have select forward well leftward and select rightward select is usually defaulted as you can see it's a and that's just to click move it around so let's say I have two I could go here and I can move this around I could have it on a separate layer move it back then we have split split is when you go here you can use B and you basically just split it um, and then I let's say I press a I want I don't I want this to be in the middle and then I move it here so simply you're cutting the image you're just cutting the image or you're cutting the video and you're moving it however you're, however you want then you have left forward this is um this is just a way of selecting and it's really it's really not something I use but basically let's say for instance I were to click over here then it would basically click it would select anything that is to my right that I clicked so if I were to click here it would only go up to here if I clicked all the way over here to the end of the timeline it'll, it'll click everything and then the same goes here on the left side so if I click here it only click this one this one section it will go all the way to the end it will click everything and I can move it etc etc this is not something I really use um, I, I usually go by a clip by clip basis so I just use the regular select tool and I move it around but if you are grouping things and moving moving them together that might be a great tool for you over here then you have the undo redo then you have your split so this is just a shortcut for doing a split from here so you could either press B click or you could go here and click or you could do command B and click so you have three you have three ways to get this done over here you have your delete so you could press delete or you could press backspace or you could click this trash icon right here over here is when you freeze so let's say for example I have this moving cool 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 now what I want to do is I want to select this then it clicks freeze and what happens is it just pauses it and it goes back so it basically creates a still of what's happening and then it key it keeps it there and then it goes back to whatever if it doesn't have that effect I haven't needed to use this but I think that it would be really cool if you're like maybe something in slow motion or you're stopping time uh, you could definitely get creative with it after that then you have reverse so let's say I have this video right here I could click the reverse and then it'll reverse the clip so you wouldn't be fully able to tell because there's not really much dialogue going on but it did reverse the clip then we have here we have mirror which flips it horizontally then it has rotate
and then it has crop. So we could actually crop it here. So we have free crop. We got our different ratios. And we can see how it looks throughout the timeline as well. And I think this is a really cool thing to have um, right, right there in the timeline. After that, we have the record. So during the record, as you can see, I'm talking, it's moving. You could select um, the input device, volume, echo reduction. You can mute the project so as it's playing and you're recording, it won't play any of the sound that is in the timeline. So you won't mess up if you're speaking in it and the sounds mess you up. Um, you can reduce echo. I, I usually leave that off. And you know you press you press record, bada bing, bada boom. Then you have turn off main. So you have turn off main. This basically means like your main track. Um, so this would be your main track. Um, so as you could, so if you noticed, it was there was something there. So anytime there's like a main track, it automatically just sticks to it. But if I were to turn it off, I could freely move it along the timeline. Usually on the main track, it's usually continuous, so I, I leave that on. Then you'll have auto snapping. Auto snapping is amazing. Um, I keep it on. I don't see the need for taking it off unless I'm, you know, doing something that's not like continuous. And but I usually leave it on. And then linkage, like linking, um, linking things together. I usually leave that on. And turn on preview access. This is essentially what you're seeing here. So instead of me just clicking and moving this around, I could just hover and see what's going on here. And lastly, I could zoom in and zoom out. And, and over here, I could lock the track, I could hide the track, and I could mute the track. And as you see from this icon, it's a video icon. So you could put your you could put your video, you could put your pictures, but you wouldn't be able to put like um, your captions in the same your captions or your filters in the same uh, layer. Um, actually, that's a, that's actually like really good because let me check. Because from my knowledge, you can't put filters on the same layer. Right. So you can't put filters on the same layer because the way CapCut shows it is like, well, this is a filter, so it needs to be on top of the video. So we're not going to just have it like that. So as you can see, it easily just puts it on top. And it looks really good. I might, I might do, need to use that later. And that is how you use the CapCut timeline in CapCut Desktop.